In the heart of the Amazon rainforest, where nature's mysteries thrive, lies an extraordinary creature, one that could easily be a character in a sci-fi thriller, the electric eel. Imagine a world where living organisms harness the power of electricity, and you're about to embark on an adventure to discover the secrets of this electrifying protagonist while seeking answers for the most asked questions about it. Welcome to another episode of The Jurassic Depths, where we unlock the gates to a realm forgotten by time itself. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit it to not miss the upcoming adventures and don't forget to leave your comments. Our story begins with a shimmering river, where the murky waters conceal a creature unlike any other. Meet the electric eel, an enigmatic fish that defies convention. It's not an eel, but a knife fish, boasting a serpentine body and a shimmering bronze hue. You might wonder, can electric eels kill humans? Before seeking for the answer for this, we have to understand how they produce electricity and how powerful it is. Electric eels generate electricity through a special organ made up of thousands of tiny cells. When they want to produce electricity, their nervous system sends signals to these cells, making them all work together. Inside each cell, there's an exchange of ions, which creates a small amount of electricity. But because there are so many cells stacked together, all the small amounts of electricity add up to create shocks of up to 600 volts or more. They generate and discharge electricity in the form of direct current. They use the shock to find and catch prey in the water, navigate in the dark, communicate with other electric eels, and essentially have a built-in electric battery to help them survive in their underwater world. They can produce electricity, so can they power up electronic devices? Answer is yes. An electric eel can potentially power up a small light bulb or other low-power electronic devices. In scientific experiments and demonstrations, researchers have used the electricity generated by electric eels to illuminate small light bulbs or power simple electronic circuits. However, it's essential to note that the amount of electricity produced by an electric eel is relatively limited and not sufficient to power larger appliances or devices. While electric eels have a degree of control over their electric discharges, it's important to note that this control isn't as precise as making a conscious decision to switch their electricity on or off. Instead, their nervous system and specialized cells in their electric organ work together to regulate the intensity and frequency of their electric discharges based on their needs and circumstances. Sometimes, while using their electric radar, electric eels may inadvertently shock themselves. Usually, this doesn't result in injuries, but if the electric current passes through their vital organs, it can be fatal. An electric current through their heart, for instance, can instantly kill them. However, in interactions with other electric eels, they typically avoid using their electric shocks. During social interactions, electric eels often communicate using weak electric signals that convey information without causing harm. These signals serve various purposes, including courtship and resolving territorial disputes. While it's rare, if two electric eels were to engage in aggressive behavior or territorial disputes, they might defensively discharge their electric organs, potentially leading to one eel receiving a mild electric shock from the other. Nonetheless, electric eels have evolved to minimize harm during social interactions, with their primary use of electric shocks being for hunting, self-defense, and navigation, rather than aggression toward their own kind. Now that we have an understanding of the electric eel's shocking ability, let's explore whether they can pose a threat to humans. Electric eels indeed have the potential to generate electric shock strong enough to harm or even kill a human. However, it's important to note that they are not typically aggressive towards humans and do not actively seek to attack. In the event of a human coming into contact with a large electric eel or disturbing it, the eel could deliver a powerful electric shock. This shock might result in injury or, in rare cases, be fatal. Despite their fearsome abilities, electric eels are generally considered relatively harmless to humans. While a shock from one might not be lethal, it can certainly be a shocking experience. In the Amazon, fishermen have devised creative methods to catch electric eels without getting zapped. It's worth mentioning that electric eels are occasionally consumed as food in certain regions of South America, particularly in the Amazon. However, their flesh contains toxic compounds, such as urea and trimethylamine oxide, 
which can be harmful if not prepared correctly. To make it safe for consumption, the meat is typically fermented and aged, similar to the traditional Icelandic dish we discussed in a previous video. While it is consumed, electric eel meat is not widely popular or readily available, and precautions must be taken when preparing and consuming it. Intriguingly, electric eels possess a dual nature. They're a source of both wonder and mystery, revered by some and misunderstood by others. While their electric talents may not lend themselves to human consumption, their role in the Amazon's delicate ecosystem is undeniable. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the content.